picture a problem like this. I have right now, I have log base 4 of x minus log base x minus 1 equals 1 half. Whenever you have multiple logarithms, go back looking to your properties logarithms to try to condense this down to one logarithm. Ladies and gentlemen, when we had an equation and it looked like this 3x plus 4 plus x equals 5. And I said to solve this, we know we have two x's. We need to solve for an x, right? So what did we do with the x's? We combined them, right? Because you can't solve when you have two different x's, right? Unless you're going to be doing some factoring technique when it's like x squared or x to a higher power. So we can't solve this unless we combine these. Well, the exact same thing, when you guys have multiple logarithms, you're not going to just be able to isolate and solve for a logarithm. You have to condense them down to one single logarithm. So we notice that our properties of rules state that when we have the, subtract, the difference of two logarithms, we can rewrite that, as long as they have the same base, as the quotient. All right. Now I can rewrite this into exponential form, which would be 4 to the 1 half power equals x over x minus 1. All right, Or I could use my one to one properties and raise each power, um, raise each to as an exponent with the base 4. Um, so now, ladies and gentlemen, when we take a look at this, well, 4 to the 1 half power is equal to the square root of 4. So therefore, this answer is 2 equals x over x minus 1. So now, to solve for this, we need to get x minus 1 off the bottom. Sam, do you have this written down? Oh, I get it. OK. So now, Adara, we have this. You can simplify this now to get your x to the same side. <laughs> And therefore, x equals 2. 